If you're wondering what all the hype's about, because homeboy won't shut up, we're doing a shoe review today, and some of you guys have been asking for the shoe, and they are the Reynolds G6, brought to you by America. So, let's get to it. I cannot stress how much I love these shoes. Oh my gosh, I love these shoes. It's been an awesome, experience and a great time being blessed to skate these shoes I love them so much I have three pairs these two boxes and the ones I'm wearing so I'm gonna show you the fresh pair so you have a better idea of what the shoes are about it's all the hype so going into the Randall G6's I like to have mine in a nice black suede with white gum colorway but there are other colorways available go check out them on the, your, their site and they go for about 80 bucks you might think that they're pricey but I think for the price it's a reasonable amount and a wise way of spending the buck so let's go into the rental shoes we'll start from the inside out so from the inside here is this small flap you're thinking oh well not enough cushion it's just a simple heel pad or you know and when you go inside you just see this so however there is a lot of gum for this shoe they are thick and bulky shoes just by looking at them from the outside but on the inside that's what you get so and to give you an idea of the cushioning system for the heels, they show you at the bottom of the shoe. So, um, when the shoe starts to wear down, this is what you'll see. It is the same material as it is in the heel. So, just to give you an idea of what is underneath and within the shoe. So that's what you're getting from the inside and as far as the cushioning system. So it is good board field from half of the shoe up for the heel. Obviously not so much because these are ideally for skating big sets. And as you know, Reynolds, the boss, skates big shit. And these do the job. So, I love these shoes with the passion, man. And not just because Reynolds rides them and they are his shoe, but um, just the function aspect, they're really awesome. For $80 and for what it's worth, they're pretty good. So, let's continue with the Lycra um, tongue. It is very flexible. It does feel good on the front of the ankle and it, it does protect you so if a board was to come at you it protects that area of the ankle so this is awesome the side not on this side but the other has some perforations that allow your foot to breathe and it does somewhat help but it's a bit average but i ain't complaining they still do the job um and when we continue by like, going up on the shoe on the toes what they included the developers said they had included a hot melt. So you can see a bit of that right here. And the material is different as you think it would be from right here. The hot melt is not included here. The hot melt is right here in the front. And you're thinking, what is the hot melt and what is what is its purpose? The hot melt right here you can start to see a little bit more so with shoes suede shoes or shoes in general when you start to do a lot of flicks well shoes break down no matter what the material you're skating 
whether they're hard or eventually it's gonna wear down and you can see the seams right here but they included the hot melt so this is starting to obviously the first layer of suede is coming off but we got the hot melt to back us up thank you America thank you for including that but you know realistically no matter what the case the shoes are gonna break down you have to be straight up it's it's just gonna happen so the hot melt still doing good after the first layer of suede is off but it started to break away from the gum itself and as you can see right here you might want to invest in some shoe goo just for shoes in general because there's always going to be that phase where the shoe is just it's just separating there's no there's no stopping it it's inevitable it's bound to happen so but I do like the fact that they included the hot melt, which is pretty awesome. So you saw the phase one and the phase two, but hey, it's gonna happen. So um, from wearing down from this shoe to this one, this is bound to happen, and you know you'll start to lose grip. So I had not so much grip on the bottom of the shoe when skating a park um, with polished concrete. The shoe can be hard to push sometimes, so I, 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 in the middle of a line, I'm pushing, and sometimes my foot would just slip, and that's when you get to this point, is when there's no longer grip, but just the pad underneath and in between the gum. So it's just inevitable. It's bound to happen, but um, what it's intended for in skating big sets, it does the job, it does its purpose. So I don't think this is a shoe that's intended for skating tech, but just a simple flick, catch, boom, land, roll away. This shoe is intended for that. Such a great shoe. Um, like I said, they are bulky, they are pretty wide. And so you might have to get used to changing your foot position and uh, in order to compensate for whatever size board you ride because I ride an 812 and I've skated a uh, shoe before this one and I had to get used to putting these on because I felt like these shoes were really big for the board and I was just thinking, hmm, should I go up a size board or should I just skate these size shoes? And um, so there is a little bit to adapt to when you try on these shoes. But the reason why I love this shoe is because the Reynolds G6 kind of emulates that old school feel of a, a thick, bulky shoe, but not too bulky. Where, if you remember some of those old school shoes that were just big and thick and no board feel. Well, this has board feel, and this has comfortability, and it it serves so well when skating down big stuff. So it it's so awesome and how they kept the style of Reynolds first shoe his iconic shoe which revolutionized skate shoes and it kind of looks like between the it has the looks of one and two and but with the new, new twist so let's just put these away and just have our eyes on to feast on this this fresh hair um, the shoelaces do rip again it's inevitable with skate shoes but I read some other reviews and people were saying that they wish that they had placed the laces a little bit higher or somewhat had something to cover the laces that would have been cool that would have been cool to add but i just like how simple these shoes are they kind of give you a little bit of like just the old school feel just a, you know time up lace them ready to go and um well there you have it for the rental shoe the g6 and it's hard to say don't don't buy a shoe because you know this pro wears them but when I wear these shoes I can't help but think of Andrew Reynolds I think about all the big stuff he's hitting them and I just think how these shoes are just the right thing to take in a battle and skate in the spot because I was skating big stuff and um, I was trying a trick off a big four block here in town and I was skating it for about three hours straight trying to trick. I was landing on my feet every freaking time. I did not roll. I probably should have, but there was so much cushion in the heel 
it just reduced the impact and I'm not making it up. I, I usually when trying a backside trick and I land, when you're going a, cer a certain motion forward and you land and your heel hits up against the back of the shoe, sometimes you know you, you tear the back of the shoe. Three hours straight in these, boom, did the job. I was still skating them. They're such an awesome shoe. That's why I have three pairs. They just give me that. It, it, I, it's just it's it's just worth it. Trust me. And buy them. Go out, buy them. Maybe in a different colorway. I myself, I just like black, white, simple. Reynolds, thank you for putting the shoe out here for the skate community. Thanks, boss. Appreciate it. The developers of the shoe. Thank you guys, I love it. I couldn't have asked for a better shoe. So there you have it, the Rental G6s. Comment below if you'd like to have us review another shoe. So with that being said, I'm Ito Paul.